Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you all? Hope we are fine. Today is our third class on preposition. So before today's class, let's take a short review on previous class. What we have read last two class? At first, we have read what is preposition. So, do you remember what is preposition? Yes, a preposition is a word that the relationship between noun or pronoun and other words in a sentence. And prepositions often tell us the position of things. So, behind, between, in front of, above, in, under, beside, near, on. These all are the example of preposition. So, if I say the boy is behind the ball. So, this behind is telling us the position of things. And also, it makes the relationship between the two nouns, boy and ball. Next, we have read few selected prepositions. And what are they? Under, beside, inside, between, above, into. So, if I say, where is the bird? Where is the bird? The bird is above the house. Similarly, if I ask, where is the dog? The dog is under the table. Next, what we have read with, for, in. So, do you remember the use of with? Yes, it indicates being together or being involved or having something. So, can anyone give me an example? Yes, the kids are busy with their homework. So, this with is involved something. Okay, next, for. It indicates the use of something or to mean because of. So, example. Yes, I baked a cake for mom. It represents mean because of. Okay, next, in. Used to indicate location. So, the example. The kid, sorry, the kites are in the sky. So, where is the kites? It's in the sky. It represents the location. Okay, next, from and by. So, from indicate where something or somebody or represents the origin of someone. So, the example, I am from Italy. I am from Italy. It represents what? The origin of somebody. And the last one, by. Used to indicate how something is done. So, what was the example? Girl is going home by train. How is she, how is she going by train? So, Hopefully, we got remember about our previous class. Now, let's start today's class. Now, let's start today's class. Off. O -F, O-F-OFF. This OFF usually indicate relationships between other words, such as to indicate reference. Indicate reference. For example, the box is full of toys. This is the picture of my last birthday. 
This is the picture of my last birthday. So this picture is the reference of my last birthday. Similarly, the box is full of toys. This one is the reference of the box. Box is full of toys. So, O, F, of, of, indicate relationships between other words, such as to indicate reference. O, double F, of, O, double F, of, usually indicate separation or disconnection. Usually indicate separation or disconnection. For example, the baby take off his clothes. They cut a branch of trees. The baby take off his clothes means the baby is open his clothes and they cut a branch of trees. They are cutting down the trees. So this, this of indicates separation or disconnection. Next one, down. Down usually followed by noun and it indicated both direction and location. It indicated both direction and location. For example, she is walking down the street. She is walking down the street. Sit down and take play pencil. Sit down and take pencil. So, this sentence are indicated direction and location. She is walking down the street. This one represents the location and sit down, take pencil is direction. So down. It indicated both direction and location. Below. Below usually indicate lower any place that is not directly under another. That is not directly under another. For example, the plane is just below the cloud. Today is temperature below 15. So, the plane is just below the cloud. Is it Directly saying anything that is under, under there? No. This is not directly saying that under another. The plane is just below the cloud. If I say the plane is under the chair. This one is clearly stating that the plane is under the chair. Then the plane is below the chair. Is it correct? No. In this sentence, the plane is under chair. This one is correct because it stating directly that is under something. Similarly, today is temperature below 15. If I say today is temperature under 15, is it correct? No. Temperature is below 15. Is stating not directly under what? So below is usually indicate lower any place that is not directly under another. And the last one over. Over talks about movement or position at a higher level than something else. 
higher level than something else. For example, they have finished the movie over internet. He is famous all over the world. Do you know who is he? Yes, we all know about him. So he is famous all over the world. All over the world. This one is something than higher. Okay? And they have finished the movie over internet. Not a limited source. They have finished the movie over internet. This one is also a higher level. So over talks about movement or position at a higher level than something else. That's all for today. If you have any problem, of course, contact me on your prescribed day. Follow your grammar practice book and do the exercise on your copy, page number 79. And also, don't forget to follow my lecture sheet. Thank you for watching me.